Uh, this talk is designed for the, uh, the person that's beginning to understand the information and hopefully they can avoid the traps and, and speed up the process of, of waking up more people to what's happening, get them to look up. My main agenda is just to get people to look up at the sky. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the hard bit, you know, because everyone's walking around. I saw a woman crossing the road with a mobile phone the other day, like this. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's hard just to get people to look up at the sky and even harder to get them to care. But you only need about 5% of a critical mass, and my agenda is to, is to get that critical mass because once people know they can make their own informed decision about staying healthy or fighting the new world order. <coughs> you know, in a peaceful uh, information way. It is, I was listening to G. Edward Griffin the other day, and he said, well, <laughs> you know, if a civil war starts in America, etc., I don't give the Americans much chance, really. They've got all the weapons and stuff. And one of my songs says, well, they've got all the weapons, the money, and the talk, the media, you know. Uh, but we've got the people the truth and the heart. So don't be put off by how much uh, weaponry they've got that might wipe you out with a, a chemical uh, uh, virus bomb or whatever, you know, whatever they've got in their arsenal. The, the spirit of humanity is so strong, that's why they spend so much time uh, pinning us down. Because we're the unknown variable. They cover every variable and we're the unknown variable. So don't give up. Whatever you're doing, whether it's vaccines, whether it's GMO, whether it's um, promoting organic food, and there's great organic food over there, check it out. Um, keep on doing what you're doing because it really does make a difference. Really, really, really does. The last two, last two years, the amount of people I know has just gone through the roof that know about chemtrails. I've stopped people in the car park and I'm walking in the woods and they know. So it's working. So even though the new scientists can say, geoengineering, uh, we have plans to cool the planet. Will they work? You know, so we're being conditioned. No matter how much uh, rubbish they <coughs> put into the, the masses that they believe are dumbed down now, and ready for all this, this is why it's happening and not years ago, if they believe they're ready, well, we're ready, with the information to put the, set the record straight. I uh, run the pre truth show, been doing it about four years. I'm not broadcast at the moment, but all my interviews with Fritz Springmeier and um, uh, Mike Sarian and uh, Bob Chapman was, was a great loss. Uh, lots of, I was always interested to learn more. It was, it was a way for me to learn. So I'm going to stop waffling. Bees, bats, and birds are dying everywhere. I wonder why. From CA Cantrell, California, I guess. Well, that's true. Um, bees and butterflies used to be almost a nuisance, they're gone. The microorganisms are gone. Um, all the things that we need to support a healthy life and, and the air we breathe, they're gone. Mainly gone. Dead bees on the pavement, etc. Bats I'm not sure about. The bees and the bats, uh, the bees and the birds are definitely, the small bird population is suffering. The, the seagulls just get their head cut off by wind farms. You know. But, um, <laughs> and this is happening all over Halifax to all plants and trees. Daniel J. Towers has done an excellent video in, from Canada where he shows the dieback of the trees. If you don't care about yourselves, you know, and you want to save the trees, great. But I happen to be um, a great tree lover. I'm not a tree hugger. But I'm, I'm a landscaper and I went to college, so I've got an excellent plant on so I've always been interested in species, trees and shrubs, you know. Only the species. It's all about eugenics, you see. No, okay. <laughs> um, and you can see the dieback. I mean, this is... Uh, I will say that I, ha I am kind of flippant. I am kind of with a bit of a gallows humour. And even though it's a serious subject, I hope to get... Uh, it's so heavy for me, I, I can only deal with it by having a bit of a laugh about it now and again. So please excuse me for that. But it, it'll probably happen quite a lot. Um, and the tree is dieback. Dane Wigginton speaks about... Uh, how there's lesions on the sun side of the trees because of extra UV coming through now because the ozone layer has been depleted. Not in the kind of global warming sense, but there's UVB and UVC <coughs> up there that just rips apart the, 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 the bark of the trees, it peels off, and you get lesions and die back. And the ash die back in England apparently is uh, some virus, and it might be beetles, etc. I don't believe that. 
I think it's chemtrail. And then, so we've got bees, bats, and birds are dying. Uh, the trees are dying back. We've got chem bombs now, apparently, near, near Denver, that. And we've got upside down rainbows. <laughs> Something is going on with the weather. We've got chem webs, that was in Lincolnshire. Okay, and oh, that's just a spider's web, isn't it? That's you get off of here, that. Yeah, what the hell? It's a big spider. Nothing big crawling on there like eight foot tall. No. And there was chem webs on the soil, I wasn't able to show them to you. I can show them to you later. Woke up this morning camping at uh, Cornwall. Massive halo over the sun, like a halo. Like that? That's the um, And chem webs on the floor, so I, I got some snaps of that. So we're seeing the chem webs on the polymers. Thank you, you can pass it up for me later.